building a dynamic link library for C++ today, and I'm going to walk you through every step of that. We're going to be using Visual Studio 2019. So if you don't already have Visual Studio 2019 Community Edition, you might want to go grab that first. You can find it on the internet. It is free. Make sure you get development with C++ checked when you install that. And now to make a dynamic link library. So let's go ahead and open this, Visual Studio. And we're going to do create a new project. And here we're going to get some, a bunch of default projects. We're going to type in dynamic up here just to do a search. And we're looking for dynamic link library DLL. Make sure this is set to C++, Windows, and all project types. OK, so we're just going to go ahead and uh, double click on that. And we need to give this project a name. Now, I am going to go mainly off the default documentation on creating these DLLs. So if you want to follow along on a guide, you can just Google uh, how to create a dynamic link library with C++. And you will find a walkthrough from Microsoft that is pretty good. So I'm going to base a lot of what I'm doing here basically off of that same document, but I'm going to add my own little thing to it. What basically some improvements? Well, what I would consider improvements. Okay, so we're going to call this Math Library. Helps to spell library correctly. Just because that is a very well, we're not actually going to call it. We're going to call it. We're going to call it Fib Library. You'll see why. It's basically because the default function we're going to put in here is a Fibonacci sequencer. So it's not a math library. It's more of just for Fibonacci only. And what we're going to do here, we're going to add a new item. and a header item. We're going to call this header, we'll just call it fib library. So same name as this project. And there it is. And I'm going to do a copy paste from Microsoft's website. Here is the website. So I'm basically just copying in this, but we will walk through it. Don't worry. Just so you know where this is, if you want to find it, there's not going to be a GitHub repo or anything like that for this particular project. Okay, so as we go through this, we see that it, it has some defines at the top, and that way we uh, get the import or export declared. And you'll see in this header it has some extern just header functions for Fibonacci init, next, current, and index. Okay, so our next step here is to basically build or add the object for this. So we do the same thing, add new item. This time we're going to do a C++ file. And this one is, is going to be the same name. And it, uh, there we go. So once again, I'm going to copy from that site and just paste in here. However, we do need to change a few things. This is now fib library, not math library. And we could change these math library exports and all these names, which I think I will. Yeah, we're going to change these all to fib library rather than math library. And I did that in case you weren't sure by double clicking it and pressing and holding down control and pressing RR. And that's where you get this option to rename like so. And it renames everything across your project that is using this. So it's super nice. It doesn't seem to want to do it here. Maybe it's because, because there's nothing using it. But yeah, we got to be careful about these names. 
we mess any of them up, we'll surely get some errors. So just taking a quick look here. Looks like everything else is fine. Okay, very good. Okay, so if we go ahead and build this with Control V, or you can go up to build and do it up there too. You'll see that it succeeds. So one succeeded. I was actually expecting errors, or not errors, but warnings. So I'm surprised that I got no warnings, but that's fine. So now we have this uh, all built, but nothing is using it yet. So let's make a project to do it. We could either do a whole new solution or we could do it within the same project and both ways are fine. So uh, let's see, let me go ahead and I'll show you just doing a completely separate project. So we're going to exit out of this. Actually, we'll do new. And uh, we want to do new solution, really. Does it have that option? I don't think it does. So maybe we do have to exit out of this. We'll go ahead and go to exit and just relaunch Visual Studio. And we'll once again create a new project. And this time we're just going to do a console app, just the standard console. And we'll call this, we'll call this fib client. And it does have to be in the same location. And you'll see why in a minute here. We basically have to make the pathing go to that other project. So we're going to need to set up the includes. So we go over here to our little project, right click on it and go to properties. You can also click this gear or there's somewhere, somewhere else you can do it too. I think under project, there's properties. Yeah. Or you can press the hot key, alt F7, many ways to get here. Anyway, we want to include the header from the other file. And to do that, We'll go to C++, General, and under Additional Include Directories, we are going to path to the other library. So we'll click this new new line, and then we'll hit, well, we could go to it like, like so and like manually path to it. Where is it? Fib library, there it is. And then Fib library again, and then OK. And that would get us to where the headers are. But also what we can do is we can just back up a couple directories like so. And as long as this, the other project is in the same folder, it should work. And just hit OK on that. And now we want to update this code. I'm going to use some code from further down on that walkthrough. Just bring it over for a second. And it's just the, the code that uses the actually actual Fibonacci library. So I'm going to hit copy on there and just paste it into here. We got to change a few things. Of course, this is Fib library and it finds it right away since we have it already included. And now the next thing we need to do is get the DLL linked up and the library linked up. So to do that, we'll once again, go back into properties. And this time we're going to go into linker and then into input. And we just want to bring in the name of that library. It was fib library and it is dot live because it's always dot live here. Actually, I think there are some cases where it can be a dot obj, but uh, in our case, it's going to be fib library dot live. Oh yes, and let me go back in there because we need one other thing. And that is the additional library directories. And that's under linker general. Not seeing it, but it's in here somewhere. Additional library directories, there it is. So we'll go ahead and edit that. And we'll add in a similar path So 
This is a little tricky because you could be building in release or you could be building in debug and it's going to go to a different folder either way. So we can macro this and rather than saying release or debug here and have to manually change that anytime we switch how our project's building, we can just put in a macro for int dir. I think that means intended directory. Not 100% on that, but it's uh, int the int dir macro. So if we hit OK on that and apply, we should now be able to find that fib library.lib because we have these additional library directories. So let's go ahead and run this. It should get an error, but we just want to confirm. Well, I'll hit build first. We'll do it this way. So you can explicitly see what I'm doing. And it does build successfully, but when we try to run this console app, we get an error. Um, it says the code execution cannot proceed because fib library.dll was not found. Reinstalling the program may, may fix this problem. Well, in our case, it's not, but the fib library.dll was not found. We found the normal dot live, but we didn't find the DLL. So what we need to do is we need to copy the DLL into this directory. So if I go to open file and file explorer, it basically needs to be, uh, I think, just right in here. And then it will run. However, we don't want to have to... Uh, manually copy it over. We don't want to have to go to fib library into here, wherever the DLL is. Uh, I think it's actually in here. There it is. We don't want to have to go copy and back to the other one and then into here and then paste every time we update it. So rather than do that, we'll just macro in a post build on our client here. And, and this post build will copy it in if it needs to, only if it's been updated or if it's not there. So we'll once again go back into the properties and scroll down on this uh, configuration properties on the side to build events and then command line. In the command line, this is the same thing they have over here. It is an X copy with slash Y and slash D of uh, this directory to the outdoor of your project. And as you can see, the, the previous directory, once again, it depends on that same resolution. So we're going to have to modify it a little bit in our case to be fib library and fib library. So now that should pass to the proper debug or release. And, and to do the X copy as specified after a build. Oops, I do have this in the wrong spot. I'm going to cut this out of here. It needs to be in the post build. So there, post build. Good catch. Okay, so now we hit OK. And we'll see if we can resolve this. So now let's just go ahead and hit uh, play. Should do build, and there it goes. So now it just flew through the Fibonacci sequence with our default code. And there we go. We are now using a DLL. We created a DLL and used it, set up everything we needed to. And let's see if we go into this file explorer. We should see that DLL wherever it needs to be. I think it's going to be in here. Yeah, it's under debug. There's the fib library.dll copied in there as it was supposed to. So there you go. That's how you do it. That's how you uh, generally make a DLL. Of course, there's a lot more to it. Of course, you can play around now at this point. First thing I did was uh, let the user input the Fibonacci sequence. Enter. You put A and B here. Now when we run it, we are prompted. We'll put in, I don't know, 500 and uh, 34. And there it goes. It runs through it. Starting at those using our nice little fib library pretty cool stuff right guys all right well thanks for watching follow for more coding stuff more videos about tech and tutorials and whatnot and
and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, I actually meant to have my webcam on. Apparently it's off, but uh, oh well. A no webcam video. Peace out, guys. See you in the next one. Stay safe.